Hi, I'm Cikgu Dila and today we will learn something about Ah, what is it? So today we will learn about hmm, sound. Okay, so that's why I'm clapping. So today we will learn about sound. But before that, as usual, don't forget to like and subscribe my channel. First, we will learn about sound. What is sound? Can you hear my voice? That is a sound. So sound is vibrations that travel through the air or another medium and can be heard when they reach the person or animal's ear. We have ear and we can listen or hear a sound. So sound is a form of energy. Sound waves need medium to travel through. So without medium, sounds cannot travel. The mediums are air, solid, and also a liquid. Without that, sounds cannot be heard. Next, sounds travel fast through solid than a gas. So that means the sounds can travel through solid faster. If that was faster through the air. Next, sounds cannot travel through a vacuum. So that means the sounds only can travel in the medium of air, solid, and also a liquid. But vacuum cannot. Next, we move to vibrations and sound. How sound can be produced? Like the first one. At the first lesson starting, I'm clapping and also... Ah, so that is how I'm producing a sound. So how is, can the sound be produced? The first is blowing. <laughs> okay, blowing. It can be blowing and knocking. Okay, and clapping. Yes, I'm clapping for the first time in the class. Okay, I'm clapping. And the last one is plucking. Okay, this one is also a plucking. Guitar, that also plucking. We move to the characteristics of sound. So sounds travel in all directions. So now I'm not using microphone, but my sounds also can be reached by my computer. So that shows that sounds travel in all directions, around, beside. Sounds also can be reflected. How? Let's see. Okay, sounds travel in all directions. For example, you see here, we have a car and the car is honking. Okay, the people inside the car or the people outside the car, left or right, behind or at the front, all can hear the sounds of the car honking. So they can hear the sound. This showing that the sounds travel in all direction. Next, sound can be reflected. Sound, when sound hits a hard surface, it is reflected. So that's why when you get into a, an empty room, you can hear uh, an echo. So it's showing that sound are reflected. So now we move to the phenomena of reflections of sound. What is it? The first one is echo. That's the one that I told you before. So what is an echo? An echo is a sound produced when sound is reflected on a hard surface. So sound can be reflected. So echo is the phenomena, what happened. So for example, the sound wave bounced back from the wall and the boy hear it within a second after hearing the original song. An uh, original song, original sound. Seems like when you are shouting in front of a cave and after a few seconds, you can hear your sound, your voice again. For example, help. Like that. Ah, so that is an echo. 
So same how echo works. The echo works best when it's reflected from a flat, hard surface like a stone wall because it like a stone wall because it absorbs small amount of energy, the sound energy. And the sound waves are reflected in the same directions. Flat, hard surface. If the surface is not a flat and the surface is a soft and smooth, so the reflection is less because it absorbs the sound energy. If the surface is flat and hard, that means it can reflect better because it absorbs small amount of energy. Next, we move to the phenomena of reflections of sound. We have ultrasound. The first one is echo. The second one is ultrasound. What is ultrasound? Ultrasound is a sound that cannot be heard by human, but can be heard by animals, such as bats, dolphins and whales to navigate the, and detect the locations of their prey. So they use the ultrasound. We as human, we cannot hear the ultrasound. Animals do. They can hear the ultrasound. So that's how they detect or navigate the locations of their prey. That's how they find their food or identify it does and the animals that want to hurt them. So, for example, that is a bat. Bat use sound reflections to hunt inside in the dark. So, that's why bat can move in the dark. They only move or hunting during the night because bat partial. They have a ultrasound. Next, we also have dolphin. Dolphin use sound reflections to help in their movement and communicate with each other. Phenomena of reflections of sound. The third one is sonar. What is sonar? Sonar is a technology that reflects ultrasonic sound to detect objects in water. How it works? See, we have a boat and then the give the ultrasonic sounds. They estimate the depth of the sea by hearing that they transmit the sounds and then it reflect. So they are identified by reflections of the sound. Same like what these fishermen do. So they identify the existence of fish group in the sea. How they give a sound wave transmitted from the ship and then if there is a group of fish inside the sea, the sound wave reflects back to the ship, showing that there is a school of fish inside the sea. So, besides, the sonar also can be used to identify the existence of shipwreck in the sea. That is the applications of sonar. Hmm, now we move to the useful and harmful of sound. We have advantages and also disadvantage. Okay, I know most of you like to hear a music. Okay, so sound can be something entertaining because we heard the music sounds. We love to hear musical sounds and this can be very entertaining. Okay? So that's the importance of sound. But for sounds also, you can learn my lesson today. You can hear my voice. That's also a sound. So you can learn. Besides, sound allows us to communicate. Now I'm communicating with you through my video. And we talk to our friends, to our parents, to all people around us by using sound. Next, if there is a siren of ambulance or police, so we can hear the sound. The sirens of ambulance 
it indicates an emergency alert. So whenever there is an ambulance siren, okay, Nino, 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 all the cars give away to the ambulance. So that's one of the important of sounds. And this one, the ringing of the phones provide notifications on incoming calls. It's either incoming calls, messages, you can hear the sounds of your phone. Hi, ringing. Okay, hello. Okay, next we move to the disadvantages of sound. A noisy environment makes it difficult for us to communicate. For example, if we are going to a place that is very, very noisy. So how can we communicate? Ah, I cannot hear you. Ah, so that is one of the disadvantages. Next, noise from vehicles can cause disturbance and stress. For example, if we live at a place that a very crowded place, there is a lot of cars, a lot of motorcycles, it's very noisy and sometimes there is some constructions in our neighborhood, so that can cause a disturbance and also a stress. It's a very loud noise, it's stressful. Next, okay, frequency of excessive loud noise can cause hearing problems. That's why whenever you love to hear music sounds, you wear the headphone. Remember, don't make the sound is too loud because it can, can cause a hearing problems. Sometimes when you use too loud voice and then and you open, ah, you can hear someone talking to you. Or maybe you hear, ah, why are you too slow? Because you are listens to something too loud before that. Okay, next. Ah, do you need to measure the loudness of sound is in a decibel. Loud noise that exceeded 85 decibel can damage our hearing. So make sure, take care of your hearings. It's a very, very important for you to take care of it. Next, how can we reduce sound pollution? So first, we can use a this one, ear protector. We use ear protector to prevent ear damage and excessive noises. Usually this one they use for someone that works at the uh, airplanes. They use this one. And someone that works at the construction place, they use this. Next, use sound absorber such as carpet, curtains, windows, reduce curtain curtain windows to reduce the sound vibrations because this one absorbs the sound deflections better. Remember, hard and flat surface that deflect sounds better. But if you have a carpet curtain, that's one that is a soft surface. So that means it can absorb the sounds better. So that's why that can reduce the pollution sound, sound pollution. So another example, we can use acoustic studio walls as a sound absorber. This one, we can, uh, if the person construct the buildings, they can put a sound absorber walls. And for, we have a several type of sound absorber, sound absorbance material, we can use that. And lastly, plants can also be used as a sound absorber. Oh. We finished our lessons today. I hope you enjoy the class. The class, the lesson. So remember, don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.